Hello there my fellow Holotable Heroes and welcome to another Rise of the Empire Territory Battles video. However in this one there won't be any gameplay or any guides or things like that. It's really just uh, taking a moment uh, to look back at the journey, the progress we have made as the guild and as well personally. Then look into the future like what the plans are for me in terms of what I'll be working on next for territory battles. But first I want to share with you a brand new feature I added to my Swag of Life website. The link in the description below if you haven't seen it yet go ahead check it out. So the new feature is squad loadouts. Uh, so if you head over to the territory battles page and you uh, flip over to loadouts you will see now this brand new feature where you can go ahead so this is only available for first three sectors so you can just skip uh, between sector one two and three and then as well underneath you can toggle between the planets for each sector so each of this is a list uh, of the what i call default teams that i am using personally that i found out to work well and they are built in a way if you do want to full clear uh, the entire phase uh, in one go uh, that there is no duplications between uh, units so if you are looking uh, if you are aspiring to do full clears of first three sectors uh, you can get a good idea of what teams to build for each mission and as with all my other uh, pages on here you've got a, a neat play buttons everywhere where you just click on it takes you to a youtube video uh, that i made where you can go ahead and see that team in action uh, so i created a lot of videos already so it was i think like an easier way to kind of track team by team uh, how it works and also recently uh, i've released a video of sector one on autoplay uh, so whenever i use the team that did autoplay there's as well auto tag in there so that you know that this team has potential to just autoplay the mission almost completely auto some of them it requires a little bit you know interference uh, but for the most part if it has auto it's going to be auto uh, so these teams for mustafar as you can see obviously lord vader uh, that's his mission he's got to do it and then each uh, mission is kind of labeled the position for example top right bottom right so you know on the map where that mission is and then as well whenever i tested some alternative teams um, there's also alternative teams option when again they have a play button so but do note if you are using alternative teams they may be some overlap between characters so you may not be able to exactly then full clear with the teams that i showed you uh, but just for reference that you do know um, I, when I did test alternative teams you can go ahead and see them and how they work uh, and as sh shown earlier you can skip through between the planets and again alternative teams available not all of them I tested myself uh, some of these are what others have uh, used successfully so if you don't have exactly same units uh, you can go ahead and do that same things you can see alternative teams so hopefully uh, these loadouts will give you an idea of uh, what teams to build out. Now mostly I was building out teams uh, that already uh, were kind of you know requirements for Galactic Legends. Uh, I really don't like uh, relicking up teams just for one specific event. I always look for okay uh, if I relic up this unit can it be useful uh, elsewhere either in another territory battle mission or in another game mode just as uh, GAC or raids or something. Uh, so that's where I've got to. You got first free sector with all the planets, uh, all the missions uh, done. I even, you've probably seen it already, was able to finally complete the fleet mission uh, on Geonosis with Leviathan. So I just took this guide uh, for that yesterday. You might want to check it out and just see how it works. Uh, it's a really fun one. I mean, there's still RNG involved, but it definitely feels uh, a lot more reliable than waiting for tide defender to dodge everything uh, so that's where i'm at now uh, i came through uh, the first three sectors uh, full cleared it i already done videos already showing me full clearing all of that especially sector three <laughs> it took a lot of roster stretching just because they've added a bonus planet of zephyr here so we need even more teams in sector three but again i was able uh, to full clear this as well so I slowly started working uh, as well towards Sector 4 uh, missions to try and full clear it as well. So you can really see the first result uh, of that ambition to also clear Sector 4 
uh, full clear of Latol. I'm working now on the mixed zone and then I'll do dark side in the end. But anyway, I'll talk about more about the future plans uh, later on. Um, so hopefully you will find this loadouts uh, feature uh, useful. Uh, let me know, you know, what else you would like to see on here. It's pretty basic at the moment, but at least it kind of shows you the team that I'm personally using, uh, you know, that allows me to full clear uh, all the missions here that I tried. And now I really want to talk about the progress we made as a guild, because you already seen personally, I'm kind of full clearing uh, all three sectors. If I'm really up for it, there's always some RNG involved, so I don't always have time to do it. But if I do put my head down and go for it, I can slowly start to work on sector four. But as a guild, uh, so actually the whole thing started, there you go, 17th of December was the last day. So well, then it started around, what, 12th of December, 11th of December. So we are almost, what, 16 months in uh, since uh, the Rise of the Empire Territory Battles has been added uh, to the game. And this is just from the last day. I was live streaming actually every day, as you can see. At this point, we were on 24 stars. Uh, and I think we ended up with 27 stars in the end. Um, so that's where we were at the starting point. Uh, as you can see, we kind of cleared first three sectors-ish. Um, so, you know, not bad for a start. But now, uh, just with a few hours to go today, we're around 37 stars. Uh, we will get to 40. We just need everybody need to deploy their stuff and we should be good to go. So you can see we were slowly building from that, you know, 27 star... Um, start that we had uh, when it started the, the new territory battles and slowly you know every month or so adding an extra star adding an extra star then of course Zepho, uh kind of boost as well the score allowing us to add three more stars uh, to the total count and now for the past few months we've kind of been stuck on 40 stars really we're kind of stuck here um doesn't really look like we are anywhere closer really to make a push for more Maybe they'll be adding uh, an extra bonus planet soon. I was hoping they would add Naboo. Uh, however, I'm pretty sure if they were planning to add Naboo, they would have announced it already. Because as soon as, you know, uh, these guys came out, Genite, um, uh, Calcasis and stuff, they immediately said there's going to be a bonus mission here. There will be a bonus uh, planet there. But now with the announcement of uh, Jar Jar and Queen Amidala, they did not mention at all anything about adding Naboo. Uh, to the bonus zone um, but also looking at where do we have uh, space really for another bonus planet because unless they rearrange the map they could add it here on the dark side but Naboo's not wouldn't really be a dark side planet probably would be I would imagine a light side one maybe a mixed one but then if you look at the current map they do have a slot here in the mixed zone in sector 4 which would mean R relic 8 characters if they would go light side, uh, that would mean right there, and that means Relic 9 character. So, I'm not really sure where they could insert it, because um, definitely I don't feel like Naboo would be a dark side uh, planet at all. So, I don't know, uh, definitely not looking like we are getting that as a bonus planet. So generally, I guess, as a guild, we came to a point where if we do want to make progress, people have to start putting Relic 9s of their units, and Relic 9 is really, really hard to get. Like, even Relic 8 is quite tough already. Um, so, personally, uh, what I was able to do uh, is get enough Relic 8 teams here uh, to complete Lathol. I'm kind of working now as well on Relic 8 teams for Castle. I think I just need one more team. And then I need a whole bunch of Relic 8 teams as well here uh, for the dark side. And after I do that, to be honest, I will just kind of stop relicking my teams because I do not want to start relicking 9 units uh, because, you know, unless they make Relic 9 a little bit more accessible, I just don't see it as being, you know, a viable investment trying to get all these missions done. Um, maybe a special mission for Get if we do have it somewhere. I think we do. Hold on, what do we... There is one there, I think. So maybe this is the only Relic 9 team I will build. <laughs> Young Khan and Vendor Chewbacca at Relic 9. Uh, oh well. Well, I guess you can just throw in a rain there and a couple of other light side units. Uh, but yeah, this is maybe the only uh, Relic 9 team I will build out just so we can earn some get for the guild. But otherwise, yeah, I don't see that at all um, 
me going for it. Uh, let me actually also show you the progress uh, and the teams I'm planning to build out. Uh, maybe you guys, some of you guys that are already doing, uh, you know, sector four and five, maybe you've got some better ideas of what team I should be uh, building for. And there we go, if we go to my sector four, as I mentioned before, I have Lothal covered, I've got Phoenix, I've got Leia, a Jedi team. Uh, so that kind of clears uh, Lothal for me. And then for Castle, uh, Jabba. I already tested this one, uh, Jabba clears it, no problem. Uh, this one, I wasn't able to try, that, try it out yet because I just literally got my L3 uh, to Relic 8 today. As you can see, a bit of mishmash team. <laughs> I just throw Plo Koon in there because I relicked him up for his ship. So hopefully, you know, I'm just trying to do minimum investment here. Um, I had Best Carmando for his ship at Relic 8 as well there. And then uh, Kenobi, I tried this Kenobi squad, works well, no problems at all. So the last uh, team that I'm building here for Castle is Kylo. I don't know, maybe Kylo will go on the dark side. I'm just kind of trying to see if I can use him here for now. And once, you know, I get all the dark side teams rallied really up, I might swap who do I use in this uh, last mix zone, depending on who, how dark side missions go. And then for the dark side, uh, I have to relic up my Inquisitors um, for the, the special mission they have. I'm already got a Grand Inquisitor to Relic 9, uh, that was for the uh, operations. McGill asked me to do that. I'll be doing Night Sisters to Relic 8. Uh, apparently, they work pretty well here. And then I'm obviously trying to build around Galactic Legends, because, you know, if you am relicking up units, might as well try and do Galactic Legends. Uh, Piet over these are to relicate already uh, from Executor Farm anyway. And then if I get uh, Malikos, Starkiller, and Maul to relicate, they're all great units. They're unaligned Force users, so they work well with Lord Vader. But I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I'll need a tank in there, so we'll have to push a Royal Guard to relicate or something. I don't know. Uh, this is what I'll be aiming at um, because even if these guys are relic them up to eight and you know they might get replaced with somebody else if it doesn't work they still are very useful characters elsewhere anyway so I'm not mad at that and then the final dark side team I'll build around uh, Sith Eternal Emperor only got Revan and Malak at relic nine uh, just because obviously the um, was it the Leviathan farm Dooku is at relic eight from Sif Eternal Farm, I believe. So the only two really I need Bane and Sif Eternal. So again, if this thing doesn't get it done, you know, I I'm not gonna be mad having a Relicate Bane. Uh, and I guess it is time that I do push all my Galactic Legends to Relicate, because they've all been Relic 7 apart from GML until I started this farm. And there you go, guys. That's all what I wanted to cover in this video, uh, you know, showing you the brand new feature I added to my website. Uh, go ahead and check it out. Hopefully you will find it useful and helpful. If nothing else, really, uh, just like an easier way uh, to browse the huge amount of video guides I created, how each team works, if you're interested. I made a prog maybe we made a good progress as a guild, uh, but at the moment we are kind of stuck at 40 stars. And personally, I'm probably about, I don't know, four months-ish, five months-ish away uh, from potentially being able to full clear Sector 4 but once I do that, I as well will be stuck with making any progress because Relic 9 is still, still way, way, way too difficult to obtain. Even Relic 9 is a pain. I can probably get one Relic 8 characters per week if they have been like Relic 7 or maybe Relic 5. I can push them one a week. And as you can see, I uh, think I still need about, I count like 25 Relic 8 characters. So that's going to take like, yeah, four or five months. Uh, to achieve that. Uh, hopefully this video was useful and helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments below or on my Discord server. But until then, have fun, enjoy life, and may the RNG be with you, my friends.